to the 289 foot par three. There's a good look at our trophies for our champions. What a beautiful award that is. Love to take that home one day. Without taking a step. Yep. Mm. Catches a little trees, but doesn't seem to matter. Little tree surfing there. Big Brian Schweberger's gonna have to back off a little bit on this throw with that power. Turns a little off the right side of the fairway there. Nope. See if Joey can can't c overcome his Anheuser problem here. Flip. Come on, flip. Oh. God. He's getting a little frustrated. It's a big throw for Mike because they're starting to run out of holes here a little bit. Let's see what Mike has in store. Got it again. Oh, oh boy. I don't know. I, I, Mike's taking a little bit of a skip on his on his drive approach, and it seems to take him out of rhythm. It's the second time he hit the right side of the trees there. Uh, that's going to really hurt now. Still doesn't make it back to the fairway there. Shows you how big that throw was in the last hole for Schwebe, being able to navigate through all those trees and get himself the uh, the par. And another oh, jump putt. Yeah. Oh, what a great play. That's definitely going to help Schwaberger. He's sensing it right now. He definitely is sensing it. He saw that little mishap by uh, Mike Moser, and he took advantage of it. Mm. Oh, just short. Just never looked good coming out of his hand. Mike's with that easy putt for bogey, which yeah. is not going to help him. It's not going to help. He gives up two strokes to Schwebe with only two holes left, and that is really going to make it tough for Moe's to come back. He's going to have to hope that uh, Schweberger makes a couple of mistakes here. 373 feet here on the next hole. Schwebe with the honors. One of our young disc golf fans in the background there. Catches a little tree and comes out, but... Boy, he got real lucky there. That could have been disaster for him. Somehow he snuck through the cedars, which we never see at Seneca. You never get through those cedars, but in that case, Brian was fortunate enough to do it. Just barely. Almost takes wow. out the cameraman. <laughs> Look at how Joey's holding that disc. He's going to want this to turn quite a bit. Those cedars are just taking their toll. Telling you what. Oh, and there's Brian or uh, Mike Moser. Got through the woods there with the longest drive. What a beautiful day here at Seneca. Look at the scenery around here. This is such a gorgeous course. Very aesthetically pleasing. Challenging to our top pros. <laughs> Joey is really down on himself. I'll tell you, he's, he's working himself pretty hard. It's a big throw for Brian. Ooh, clips the tree just at the end and skips to the right. They're just checking their cards, make sure everything's right, see where they stand. Well, Brinster needs to know. Does he need to go for this or does he, you know, lay up? Oh, um, just misses. Moser could have taken advantage there, but... Brinster setting up for another jump. Oh. Brinster's just making sure he can stay ahead of Joe Mila. It's a big putt for Joey. And he nails, nails it. it. That gets him within one of Steve Brinster here, so... Right now, we have Schweberger and Moser battling out. This is the last hole coming up. And there's going to be a great battle for third place as well. we got 468 feet to go here till the end of the Seneca Creek Soiree. <gasps> Putting all he has into this roller. Mm. Catches the tree. Yeah, it's loaded up. Carries on a little bit, but not as far as he'd like. It's a tough fly, too, right next to that tree for a left-hander. 
Mike's going to have to go for it all right here. It's the last throw. Last hole, I should say. Uh, decides to keep it in the air, but that's not a good idea on this no. course. There's a little valley in between the tee and the rest of that fairway, and uh, it's just tough to keep it low like that. Well, three for three. Each one of them has, has hit the tree so far. Or a tree. Let's see what Brinster's got in store. Oh, and he's way up the fairway. What a beautiful throw by Steve. The only one to get through here. Mike's trying to roll her to finish up. He's going to hope that turns to the right, but it gets in the deep stuff. Yeah, but I think he's in decent shape here. Wow. Did you see the stamp on that Stingray? That's one of Joey's favorites. That's a classic right there, man. And he's looking to really get this thing to go understable. And a Stingray, an old Stingray like that must be understable. Using that as a roller disc maybe, huh? Looks like it. He's really getting ready on this one. Oh, now cut and run! Cut and run, he that. says. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be Joey's day. He's so calm and collected out there. You really never know where he stands on the course, do you? That's true. <laughs> uh, Joey's emotion is definitely one of the best parts of him, though, because when he gets excited, uh, everybody nice feels it. And this is very well played. Here's Steve on his second throw. What a great drive for Brinster. Going right at it. Oh, Hits the bottom of the pole, though. What a great finish. He's just going to have to drop it in there. This is it for Moe's now. And you can see he's him getting ready. He's got second place in the bag, but... Oh. Oh, just nips it. And Schwebe for the title. What a great finish. Well played. That's how you want to finish the tournament, right there. A nice 25-foot putt. Strong putt for birdie. Seal Definitely the, the way to do it. Exactly. What a great tournament here. What a great finish at the Seneca Creek Soiree. Our champion, Brian Schwaberger, being congratulated by Mike Moser. And here's your final standings. Now we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Back here at Seneca Creek, some pretty intense action at the end there, John. What a great event this year, Todd. I'll tell you what, they put on a great show for us, these very talented disc golfers. It was Brian Schwaberger ahead of Mike Moser. It was Moser ahead of Schwaberger. They were tied for a while on the lead, but on hole 17, Schwebe took advantage of Mike's mistake, and that's all he needed, just that little mistake by Moser to win the championship this year. And we do have some great players here, three top 20 ranked players in the whole world, Joe Miela being a past world champion, some pretty intense action. We often see these four, you know, battling it out here on the East Coast. They battle it out, and this talent was well rewarded this weekend, Todd. The purse was over $6,100, and Schwebe got the big chunk of it, over $730 for his prize for winning the championship. That's about all the time we have here. For John Dusler and myself, Todd Cottrell, thanks for joining us on Disc Golf Monthly. Make sure to be, meet us here next month when we cover the women's tournament at Seneca Creek Soiree.